Okay, so I'm going to try something new today. I was having trouble with my camera, so I wanted to try out a digital uh, whiteboard. So today we're doing 2013's BC FRQ. It's non-calculator that will be relevant later when you have to deal with fractions. Um, the relevant pieces of information are we have our derivative here. We have the fact that we are calling y equal to f of x, and we have an initial value here. Um, this will be relevant for part b and part c, and part a, actually. So let's go look at part a. All right, so part a is asking for the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x plus 1 over sine of x. So we know f of 0 is equal to negative 1. So this is approaching 0 and sine of zero is equal to one, so this is approaching zero. This is indeterminate. When something is indeterminate, that means we can apply L'Hopital, all right, or L Hospital, I don't care what you call him, he's a dead French dude. Uh, that means we're taking the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator separately, not using the quotient. So I'm rewriting the limit. Don't forget to write this. This is part of our grammar and syntax. So f of x, the derivative of that is f prime of x. Derivative of a one is zero, and the derivative of sine is cosine of x. Now, f prime of x, we have to go back to that expression of the derivative. We have f prime of x equals zero at this point. So that's going to be at zero. We have negative one for our y, so I have negative one squared times two times x is zero plus two. So this equals two. So I have two and then this is approaching one. So our value is two. Now for the college board grading, you get one point for performing L'Hopital's and one point for your answer. Okay, let's look at B. All right, so for B, we are computing Euler's method. So we want F, oops. We want f of one half, two steps from x equals zero. So one half minus zero divided by two equals delta x, which equals that one fourth. Now, we also need the statement of Euler's method, which is f of x and plus 1 is equal to f of x sub n plus the derivative. So we're basically using a tangent at that point and multiplying by our delta x. And this is the general rule. If you don't know Euler's method, you're going to want to memorize something like this. There are ways to write this using y's. It's up to you. All right, so applying this specifically. Applying this specifically, we have f of 1 quarter, because that's the first step we need to take, is approximately equal, because we're approximating f of 0, which we should have given to us, plus f prime of 0, which we already computed in our previous part times one-fourth, which means there are some algebra involved, but we get negative one-half. I mostly just don't have the space, so bear with me. Now, f of one-half is approximately equal to f of one-quarter plus the derivative of f at one-quarter times one-quarter. Now, there's some more algebra to do with this. I'll do that in a second, but I'll tell you that this is going to be negative 1130 seconds. And this is where it comes in handy to know your algebra because this is a non-calculated question. So we know that f of 1 quarter equals negative 1 half. This is our x. This is our y. Plug that into our derivative. So I'm going to go ahead and say dy dx evaluated at 1 quarter negative 1 half is equal to negative 1 half squared. I'm pulling this again from our derivative. 
uh, times two times one quarter plus two, which is going to give you five eighths. Throw that in right there. You end up with five thirty seconds and you end up with this answer here. Now, the AP grading for this, there's only two points for this. There's one point for using Euler's method and one point for this answer right there. Now, for part C, we're looking for a particular solution. These are all of our points here. Um, when we're looking for the particular solution, we have five points for this part of the problem because we only used up four of the nine points so far. Um, so the first thing we need to do is separate variables. So we should end up with dy over y squared equals 2x plus 2. I'm keeping the parentheses so I know that that dx refers to both of them. Now we'll integrate both sides. This is partially why I wanted to use the fancy whiteboard because I can change colors on a whim. All right, um, and then let's continue to our next screen. The separation of variables um, is going to be one point. Uh, there is one point, let me go to the next screen again. Okay, so the integration of that should be negative, oops negative one over y equals x squared plus two x plus some big c. Now remember we have f of zero equals negative one. So when I plug that in, I have one equals zero plus zero plus c. So c equals one. So I have negative one over y equals x squared plus two x plus one, flip that all over and negate it. We have negative x squared plus two x plus one. And we can factor that if we really, really want to, which becomes negative one over x plus one squared. Now, the separation of variables, let me go back to that screen. There's one point associated with integrating correctly, one point for the plus C, one point for using this particular solution, and then one point for solving for Y. You need it in the form of Y equals. Um, and that's it. Cool.